Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great Class A diesel motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. This is one I don't get in very often, folks. Today we're going to look at a 2001 American Coach American Eagle. This is a model number 40MS. Only has 47,000 miles on. This is a big high-end diesel pusher. Uh, pretty much state-of-the-art for 2001 model. Um, it's got the 350 horsepower ISC Cummins diesel, the 8.3 liter with 1,050 pound-feet of torque, one of the bigger motors you could buy then. Built on the Spartan Mountain GT uh, chassis, it's got the independent front suspension, anti-lock brake system, a lot of new technology for an RV for 2001 is in this coach right here, which we kind of take for granted today. Uh, of course, back then, Price-wise, this was uh, stickered for $301,000. Just to show you how much new RVs have gone up since 2001, a 2018 American Eagle starts at $760,000. So they have more than doubled in new RV prices since this was new. This unit, folks, is in great shape. It's got mid-2013 tires on it. So you don't have to worry about tires for a few more years. Got a great looking outside storage. Got the slide out trays, which I've got pictures of if you want to go to the website. Um, dual furnaces, dual airs, full air suspension. That's full pass-through storage there. Got the Alcoa wheels, got the hydraulic leveling jacks. Beautiful exterior, folks. I mean, not a speck of delamination. Look at the striping and finish. We got this one, folks. This was a trade-in at a, at a big Chevrolet dealership. And a um, lot of, uh, you know, we've been in business for 50 years, so we've got connections everywhere. And a lot of car dealerships occasionally take RVs in on trade. They don't know what to do with them. So they call us, the ones that know about us, call us, and we'll put a figure on it. As long as it meets our conditions for quality, then we'll put a cash buy figure on it. So if you work for a car dealership, folks, and you occasionally get somebody want to trade one of these in instead of turning them away, give us a call. We'll make you a buy figure, a cash buy figure, and um, help you put your deal together instead of just sending them away. But this is a good looking rig, folks, looking around it. It's 40 feet long. All the American Eagles those years were 40 feet two slides 10,000 pound hitch on the back 7500 onan diesel generator running right now powering everything up inside both slide outs have the awning toppers and window awnings got the air shocks air brakes it's a full bus got the factory uh, front end cover on at the bra Most of you know American Coach is built by Fleetwood, but they kind of distance themselves from the Fleetwood name. John Crane, when he decided to create the American Coach division, he wanted to create a RV that no expense was spared to make it as nice as possible. That's why these things are so much more expensive than like a Fleetwood Bounder diesel or a Southwind or something like that because he told his engineers to spare no expense. And uh, this was more the ultra premium series of Fleetwood. It's kind of like Toyota and Lexus. Let's look inside this American coach. Beautiful RV, folks. Beautiful. Leather captain's chairs, as comfortable as any expensive recliner that you may have in your home. I mean, wow. Of course, they got the Eagle embroidered on them. Um, beautiful leather chairs, 47,000 miles, folks. Corian countertops, it's got Corian up here, it's got marble floors, the carpet looks great. Six speed Allison, adaptive transmission, the 3000 series, power gear, hydraulic leveling jacks, backup camera works great. Got the remote spotlight for when you pull in your campground at night. Even though it's obsolete now, you still got a CV radio. 
Now this thing originally had CRT TVs and now it's got flat screens, so they've been updated. But this is a beautiful RV. Big windshield, you're not going to miss anything while you're riding down the road or driving this coach. Got a curtain that goes all the way around the windshield. Look at this interior, folks. Look at all that up top. Got the indirect lighting, got the really nice light fixtures. Those real shiny marble floors in the bathroom and kitchen area, not ceramic tile. You got the dual sofa floor plan. They both make beds, so you can sleep up to six people in here. You've got room for an air mattress if you need to sleep more. Even the tabletop's Corian. The beveled glass, not a crack anywhere on it. Now, I will point out one thing that the sink cover is missing. It probably got broken over the last uh, 18 years. So that's missing. Um, but, heck, for an 18 year old motorhome, trust me, folks, that's nothing to complain about. Look at that stovetop. It's got the recessed stovetop that looks like it's never been used. Got the confection microwave convection oven got the big four-door refrigerator freezer clean I, had, I didn't bring my thermometer with me folks but that's just about cold enough to steam up the lens it's, it, it's working I can guarantee you that I love these beautiful floors in here, folks. Look at those shiny floors. And they'll stay that way, too. Like I said, you got the mirror. These are your air conditioner vents. The little slits in the mirror up here, that's your air conditioner vents. Even the, uh, even the fantastic vent fan has a decorative cover. And you can see these overhead lights right here. Wow. You can tell this was a quality, quality coach. Got the dual pane windows for installation. It's a four seasons model. I've actually got a factory brochure on the website that you can look at PDF form and look about all the details, construction details and more right there on the factory brochure. Walk through bathroom. Got a glassed in shower, skylight, fiberglass surround. It, this has also got a crown fiberglass roof. You know, I know a lot of people see here Fleetwood, they think rubber roofs, but the American coaches are all fiberglass. Nothing to worry about up there. Corian sink, Corian countertops back here. They didn't cheap out and put Corian in the front and just composites in the back. All solid hardwoods in here. Got a little fold out door for privacy. Should have a slide out pantry right here if memory serves me. Slide out pantry for dry goods or storage down here. Storage shouldn't be an issue. Got a private water closet. Porcelain upgrade toilet. Another fantastic vent fan. It's got the washer and dryer combo. Big bedroom. Oh, this feels good in here too. You got that separate air conditioner. There's your HD TV back here as well. There's also one uh, for the outside that's missing. Um, it's got a place for one, a small one, like a 19 inch, if you want to put one outside. Um, or we can do it. Just ask your salesperson. Uh, you've got a Queen Island bed. This is a 60 by 80 Queen Island bed. So it's a house size queen. You got a huge closet across the back. That's cedar lined. And it's got the extra chairs, of course. Over there in the corner. In fact, that might be your outside TV right there, so you might not even need it. Um, you got his and her nightstands, his and her reading lamps. Again, you've got that really nice decorative center. Um, nice in here, folks. A lot of space, a lot of changing room in here, a lot of, lot of room to be comfortable crowned roof so you don't have standing water 
That 350 horsepower Cummins will take you down the road faster than you'd ever want to take a vehicle this size. I don't recommend running one of these things 80, 85 miles an hour, but this one can do it. That 1,050 pound-feet of torque will run off and leave any gas burner in its tracks. It's nice, folks. You know, this is a higher quality RV than most other brands out there. Um, of course, you know, when you look at something that costs as much as this one does new, you're expected to be a higher quality. 47,000 miles. Not even broken in for a diesel. I mean, you, you take care of this thing and keep it serviced and repaired. It'll last you as long as you want to keep it. This is a motorhome that has the potential to pass down to your kids or grandkids. I mean, you can make it a family heirloom if you wanted to. I mean, this thing is built to last. That's why people pay more new and more used for a diesel over a gas engine because they want something that's going to last. Now, if you're just going to use this thing three or four times a year and, and keep it for three or four years and, and trade it or sell it, then you might as well buy you a gas engine. But if you want something to hit the road in, that's something that you can keep for as long as you want to keep it, um, this is your good choice for you, folks. You don't see many of these American Co American Eagles for sale. I mean, people hang on to these because of the quality factor. Uh, the brand new 2018s, folks, are 760 grand where they start at. And uh, they go up from there. So obviously, you know, buying a new one of these, if you're looking at this thing used for 59.9, obviously a new one's uh, more than you're willing to spend or able to spend. So. You know, this isn't 300 grand. It isn't 760 grand. It's 59.9. 59.9. We're going to go through this coach. We're going to do an extensive RV component checkout. We've already checked the major things like driving it, generator, the roof airs, and the fridge, and the slide outs and the jacks. But we'll go through it and check the awnings. Uh, we'll check the outside bays. We'll check the plumbing, all the electrical components. This does have the magnum inverter. And we'll check that, make sure it's putting out like it's supposed to. We're going to check, um, oh, Lord, folks, pretty much everything you can think of. We're going to fold your beds out, make sure they make beds like they're supposed to, and much more. So for the option A, haggle-free price of $59.9, this unit will go through our service department after purchase, and we'll make sure everything on our extensive list works flawlessly and no expense will be spared. Um, now, we don't cover cosmetics. So if it's got a ding, dent, scratch, or stuff like that sink cover missing, I mean, that's just the price you pay for buying a 18-year-old motorhome for one-fifth the price of what it costs new. So, I mean, for that kind of savings, I mean, you got to realize, folks, you're saving almost a quarter of a million dollars over what this thing originally cost new, a quarter of a million dollars. Two, five, zero. That's a lot of money, folks. I mean, uh, just for the money the original owners lost on this motor home, you can, in this area of the country at least, you can buy you a nice, nice house and land for what the owners lost in depreciation on this motor home to only use it 47,000 miles. Wow. And it's even worse on a new one. So you buy one of these things new for 760 grand, you drive it off the new dealer's lot, it loses a third of its value in five seconds it becomes used so instead of 760 it's worth about 500 grand you lost a quarter of a million dollars in five seconds you keep it two years it'll be worth about 400 grand you lost another hundred grand uh or 300 grand i mean it, it's it's ridiculous just the first year alone you can lose 40 50 percent of the value in the first year that you own a new rv so don't fall victim to that folks because if you finance a brand new one the value, your your vehicle value goes down, but your payoff sure doesn't. At least not down that fast unless you pay it off early. So keep in mind, folks, this will do everything an 18 will do, except it will do it for uh, about 700 grand less. So give us a call, folks, 706-965-7929. This one's not going to last long. Uh, Class A diesel motorhomes are hard to find and in high demand right now, especially the higher end ones like this American Eagle. I mean, there are people that love these and that's all they'll have. I um, mean, this is a big step up from like a Fleetwood Discovery or a Winnebago Journey or 
or a Damon Ultra Sport, or, or or even like some of the Monaco and Holiday Ramblers, this is a big step up. I mean, this is a uh, one of the top dogs you could buy in 2001. 59.9 haggle free it will be checked out after this unit's been checked out my cleaning crew will get a hold of it clean it inside and out uh, then we're going to lock it up keep everybody out of it keep customers from damaging it and having their kids walk in here and jump around on everything and spill stuff and like they do out here on the lot and um once uh once it's locked up my service manager does his final walkthrough his name's gordy he'll make sure everything's functioning like it's supposed to you can call me anytime to check on it and um, once he's satisfied with everything, he'll lock it back up. He'll call you, set up an appointment to pick this unit up. Once you arrive here at your appointed time, the RV tech that checked it out knows it better than anybody. He's going to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with you. going to show you how to operate everything, how to hook it up at the campground. He's going to go through his checklist, show you all the covered systems work like they're supposed to, which is about 90% of the systems in here. Um, answer any questions you have, show you any repairs you had to make, tips, tricks, and pointers. If you've got a runabout, you're going to tow behind it. He'll help you hook that up as well. And um, that's included, 59.9 plus applicable sales tax, all inclusive. No extra fees, plus you get 21 nights of free camping, up to seven nights at a time at select RV resorts nationwide. That's included, $1,000 in camping. Uh, you get a starter kit, a five-gallon bucket, which nobody does that anymore with your sewer hose, water hose, chemicals, adapters, toilet paper, and more. That's included. You also get instructional DVDs you can watch in here or at home, um, just in case you need something to kind of refresh your memory. Uh, of course, you're welcome to record the tech with your with your camera or your cell phone if you want to while he's doing his walkthrough. And um, it doesn't get much easier than that, folks. And there's no surprise fees. We're not like other dealers that give that quote you a price. And when you get ready to sign on the dotted line, here comes three or $4,000 of dock fees, prep fees, setup fees, freight fees, acquisition fees, uh, corporate fees, and whatever other name they come up with every year to call a certain fee. And it's all 100% dealer profit. We give you a drive out tag. We, we don't even charge you for that. Other dealers do, we don't. Um, we don't charge you to process your title work. I mean, we, we keep things simple and easy. Like I said, the only thing you pay is a sales price and applicable sales tax. If you've got a question about how much your sales tax will be and when and where you have to pay it, call my sales department. you got to call them anyway to get a copy of that list. So ask them the following three things to send you over that list to give you the current lead time of a Class A diesel checkout, which is fairly quickly, and then also give you an estimated sales tax quote. Sales tax laws vary from state to state. The amounts vary from state to state. In some cases, even how you pay for it, whether it's a cash, trade, or finance deal, or a combination of the three. Financing, even though this is an older RV, we still have financing available with approved credit. Minimum 10% down payment because this is an older RV. You may have to pay a little more than that, and all financing with approved credit only. Uh, we don't make the rules on the financing, folks. That's the banks. We're at their mercy just like you are. Uh, so if you don't get approved, please don't complain to us folks because we did everything we can Because it only benefits us to get as many people approved for financing as possible We don't mark interest rates up a lot of dealerships in fact most of them they have a finance department That's how they fund that finance departments by marking the interest rates up over the what the bank approves you for So if you currently have an RV loan you went to the dealerships finance department. It wasn't us chances are you can contact some of these lenders direct just google rv financing and go directly to the lender not a broker or not through a dealer and then arrange your financing and refinance it that way you're going to save yourself a lot of money folks trust me uh, if you went through a dealership chances are you're going to overpay by thousands over the course of a rv loan and higher payments thousands sometimes tens of thousands depending on how much you originally borrowed um Folks, we have nationwide delivery. We have, um, and much more. Give us a call, 706-965-7929. It's a beautiful, comfortable, luxurious RV, folks. Wow. Especially for that price. 706-965-7929 is our phone number. 
It's answered 24-7. If it's after hours or on Sunday when we're closed, of course, we have an answering service. They have basic information. If they can't help you, they will get your contact info and forward it to my non-commissioned sales team who will call you back the next business day. Of course, during business hours, one of my salespeople more than likely will answer the phone or uh, one of our receptionists. So um, never be afraid to call, folks. That's the best and quickest way to get a hold of us, especially on a high-demand item like this, folks. This one's not going to last long at all. Uh, people who know these American Eagles are looking for these American Eagles, and they're looking for a low-mileage American Eagle in this price range, and here it is. Give us a call. It's 59.9. Uh, checked out, ready to go for you with the demonstration, the inspection, with the free camping, with the drive-out tag starter kit, and free and more. Or you get the you can you can ask for the option B price, which is the only way we discount our incredibly low prices, and that is you buy it as is, as it sets. Take the good with any potential bad. That means you, the buyer. Keep in mind, as is means you, the buyer, are 100 percent responsible for any current or future repairs this RV will need. And um, there's no exclusions to that. It doesn't matter if it's a running gear problem, a chassis problem, an RV component, a generator, a fridge, a propane problem. You are 100% responsible for any repairs if you take the option B price. Option B, there's no inspection. There's no walkthrough demonstration. There's no guarantee of any kind. You take it just like you see it in the video. We'll bring the rooms in. You crank it up. You drive it home. And um, if it's a problem, happens, or, you know, you're on your own to fix it. You know, we don't mind giving you advice, but we can't pay for it in any shape, form, or fashion if something happens. So please keep that in mind, folks, what option B the conditions are. If you can buy one under those conditions, we'll give you a discounted price. Anyway, folks, don't let this one get away. I'm probably never going to have another one like this in this price range again in American Eagle. I mean, these things are such short supply and high demand. These weren't mass produced like Fleetwood's other series, like the Bounder and the Southwind and the Discoveries and the and the um, all the other Fleetwood models they make. Those are mass produced. These aren't. So there's not a ton of these on the market. Even if every one of them available was for sale, there wouldn't be a ton of them for sale compared to the other brands. Thank you for watching, folks. Wow. This is what I recommend before you decide option A or B or before you decide you even want this. If you are able to come here in person and look at this motorhome, because as nice as it is, folks, keep in mind it is an 18-year-old used vehicle. Um, it's got 18 years worth of use. It's not new. It never will be new again. It, it's been used, and that's why it's priced the way it is. So please come look at it in person if you are able to. I know not everybody can, but if possible, come down here. Call us before coming to make sure it's available because I never delete my videos and I never take them off the website till the deal closes. And as many people that buy from all across the country from us, there's no such thing as going to a local dealer anymore and buying an RV. Everybody uses the internet for a deal like this. Everybody's willing to travel to save the kind of money we can save you. So all it takes is a five minute phone call and a credit card. It's got a deposit, it's off the market. And uh, I can't hold anything without a deposit. So call ahead before driving or traveling any significant distance to look at it. Make sure it's available, which is common sense with any used vehicle. Just don't assume because it's online it's available for sale. Um, once you get here, folks, ask your salesperson. He can plug it into power, turn the fridge and air on for you, have it cooled off, and spend some time in it. Get to know it a little bit. Do your own inspection. We'll bring the rooms in, let you test drive it, um, see how you like it. Of course, we can't do test drives on Saturdays. Too many people on a lot, folks. We, we have a limited number of non-commissioned salespeople, and, um, and usually there's 20, 30 cars out here, and there's no way to possibly get one of these big A's out of here because everybody on Saturday just parks wherever they find a, wherever they find a blank spot. <coughs> but anyway, <coughs> excuse me. But come test drive it, check it out, see how you like it, see if it's the one for you. Uh, then if you decide it's the one for you, then you can, after you looked at it, you can decide on option A or B. Now, I understand not everybody can come look at it, and we sell a couple of hundred RVs a year to people we never even meet. 
they buy them over the internet on my video and pictures. Um, they pay to have it checked out or they do the option B and take it as is. Even though if I was doing buying it sight unseen, I would personally probably do the option A, but um, if I couldn't come look at it. But like I said, everybody's got their own opinion about how they like to buy used RVs. So, um, but, you know, they'll, they, they won't know what they bought till they paid for it and they pay somebody to bring it to them and it pulls up their driveway. That's the first time they see it and they've already paid for it. So, and I appreciate the trust that people that buy from us that way put in us as a dealership and we, we do our best to be as honest as possible. If we see a defect or a problem, we're going to tell you about it. Uh, you know, we're more than happy to take additional pictures, take custom videos, just let your salesperson know what you want to see and we'll do it send it to you. We'll do anything we can to help you decide if this is the one for you. If you're not going to come look at it. If you want to fly in, look at it or pick it up, you can fly to Chattanooga, Tennessee Airport. Very easy airport to fly in and out of. Uh, we'll pick you up for free during business hours. No problem. It's about 15 minutes from us. Probably one of the easiest airports you've ever flown out of or into. Um, and this is a nice rig, folks. It really is. So let us know if you're interested, 706-965-7929, sales at parkwayrvcenter.com is our email, of course parkwayrvcenter.com is our website. If you're on YouTube, folks, click on the video description in the first paragraph. There will be a link to the to my website's used Class A diesel page. In there, you'll find this one and all the other inventory I have, if it's still available. You can look up on individual listings. I'll have the factory brochure on PDF. I'll have a factory floor plan if it's available. Specs, pictures, weights, capacities, and much more. ParkwayRBCenter.com. You can apply for financing there. Uh, you can get your trade-in appraised there and much more. Thank you for watching my video, folks. Come out and visit with us in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. We're 15 miles south of Chattanooga, Tennessee. We're an hour and a half north of Atlanta, Georgia. Family owned and operated for 50 years, and we sell five to 600 used RVs a year. Thank you for watching.